right, we'll start with opening statement for, from Coach and then take questions for Tyron. Uh, well, that was, uh, that was a really you know, entertaining game. I thought both teams competed really hard there. Uh, we gave ourselves a opportunity there at the end to win the game by continuing to, to, to grind the game out. They got off to a really hot start there. Um, but I think we finally got our transition uh, defense settled a little bit. But um, they, they got some separation and kind of made it an uphill battle for us in the first half. But we continued to, con continue to grind and um, gave ourselves a, a big opportunity there in the second half. Questions for Tyron? Outside there, the number one ranked offensive team in the country, what were the challenges you think of, of guarding them tonight? Uh, I would say transition, like Coach said. Uh, they made some early in the first half and got a, got some cushion, and we had to fight back. But, you no, know, in the second half, we did a good job of limiting those opportunities. Um, what do you see from Jason Rivera Torres today? Uh, Jason, uh, he's a shot maker, man. Uh, we know he can make shots, and defensively, he got instincts that you know you can't teach. So, you know, he was great tonight, and I'm glad that was able to happen for him. Has anything been different in, uh, with the Dartmouth game, and then now today, it feels like you've sort of gotten into a little bit more of a groove offensively? Uh, just trying to stay aggressive, man. Uh, I think uh, just as long as I stay aggressive, I think that's a, that gives a good opportunity to win. Uh, but just seeing something go in, it's been good. But I think maybe I could have made a few more to give us a a better chance of winning, but you know, I'm just going to continue to keep grinding. Whether it's this game or the Memphis game, how does it feel to you guys to play in front of loud and rowdy crowds compared to some of the other games that you've played? Uh, I mean, you know, in those type of atmospheres, we definitely, you know, try to feed off of the crowd. Or in a away game, we try to silence the crowd or whatever, but, you know, we definitely try to feed off of that. And even here, uh, we would like for more of our fans to be here, but, you know, even seeing all the red, uh, you know, we just want to send them home uh, sad, but you know, we'll get it done. All right, I think that's five of the last six games where you guys have had less than 10 turnovers. What's gone into taking care of the ball better? Uh, just practice. Uh, we practice habits, uh, pickups, uh, taking care of the ball. I think Coach Fox does a good job with that, but you know, we, we focus on a lot of that practice. Uh, about midway through the game, you started showing a little bit of frustration on the court. You know, things really weren't going your way. But by the end of the game, you really settled down and found your groove. What do you think has helped you do that the most? Is it staying aggressive, like you said before? Is it working off your teammates like you did today with JRT? Mm -hmm. uh, it is staying aggressive, and also I got you know coaches in my ear just lifting me up uh, from Coach Tat to Coach Fox on down. So good teammates as well. They all lift me up, so I just you know try to feed off of that. Was it difficult playing without Ezra for a good portion of the second half when usually you're used to having him out there? Uh, it's definitely difficult, uh, you know, Ezra, he's you know, our top guy, man, uh, does a lot for us offensively and defensively, but uh, I think Jordan Williams and Paul, uh, they made some, they stepped up, made some, a few plays in his absence, so, but it was definitely uh, hurt, it was definitely, uh, the word I'm looking for, but it was definitely, it hurt not to have him out there. Coach, is there any update on him? Do you guys know anything about his injury? Well, no, I, I think he wanted to come back in, but the doctor said that they didn't, they didn't feel comfortable with him coming back. So we'll we um, obviously it'll be evaluated uh, tonight, and we'll probably know more tomorrow. Anything else for Tyron? All right, how do you feel about Tuesday? You talked to Jordan Wright and just talked about what it's going to be like having him on the court for just on the other team. I might talk to him, um, but, you know, uh, we're obviously friends, but we'll get in between the lines as us versus them. So I'm sure he'll be ready, and I'm ready as well. All right. Thanks, sir. Good job, Liz. Appreciate you, Coach. Yeah. Uh, seven for 26 from three. Like, were you happy with uh, the looks you guys got or just kind of like an off shooting night? How did you view that? Well, no, we've been, we've, we've been struggling a little bit from three. I thought they were good threes, though. I thought we got our feet in the paint. I don't like the threes where we're – you know, just around the perimeter, passing it around the perimeter. But I thought we got some good depth, got into the paint. We got some good kickouts, got some good looks off of our sets that we, you know, some of our ATOs that we drew up and just uh, they didn't go tonight. Uh, it's kind of been the case with some, with our, uh, you know, what we feel is our better shooters. But again, it's, uh, it happens. Uh, I think Tasso's had, a, you know, some, some really good looks there. Uh, you know, Evan had, had some good looks. But, um, you know, we gave ourselves a chance. I mean, I think they, you know, with, with a team like this, you have to make shots. You have to make them, you know, that they're going to score. But we, we held them to 
other than the free throws, I mean, you probably say we held them to the probably low 70 points. That's a team that's, you know, like you said, the number one offensive rating team in the country. So we know that our defense is, is shoring up and, and we're getting, um, um, making, making it tough on teams. But uh, in order to get some separation ourselves, it's, it's, it's imperative that we step up and make some of those shots, especially the open ones that we get. Seven points uh, for Alabama in the last 14 minutes of that first half. Was that the, the switch to the 2-3 the zone? Would you credit that too? You know, I think we slowed them down a little bit. You know, just more of his transition. I think that's where it was. Just, just getting back a little bit more effort in the in our transition game, um, closing out a little bit, uh, a little bit more to the touch. Those guys were getting some separation um, from from us on the even on Mays, not just on the the misses. They were they were really getting out on on Mays probably. Probably as much as anybody we've seen, you know, probably the, the only game we had like that, maybe Memphis. Memphis was a team that really tried to hit it up the sideline and, and, and have those type of threats at three. But I thought we, you know, well, we gave up 15 in the, in the first half and then in transition and only five in the second half. So that, that, that gave us a chance to, um, to, you know, to win the game. Whether it was, you know, the Memphis game, the Dartmouth game, this game, what's been the difference between how you've played in the past couple games versus some of those earlier, like Western Carolina, Presbyterian, or some of those games. Well, I think we've uh, we, we've gotten healthier, you know, since then. Uh, we've uh, we, we've gotten more experience since then. In our younger players, uh, I think we probably, you know, for <laughs> of all of our minutes, our young play, you know, our younger players have played quite a quite quite a bit, you know. So I think that their their experience, um, Jason, you know, Re Re uh, Revere Torres, he's gotten better. Um, you know, Tassos, these guys that's new to our system. They're, you know, they're getting better. Jordan Williams, this is his, you know, he's, he's basically a freshman. Um, so I mean, I think him, him coming in and playing the minutes that he's did, you know, getting on the other team's best player. Obviously, we had uh, Ezra on um, you know, Sears for a lot of the night, but when Ezra went out, I thought Jordan came in and really, really made him work for everything that he got. So I, I think though, that that experience is continuing to help these guys. You know, we lost a, we lost a lot of experience, you know, with uh, some of the guys that we from from last year. So we're not a really experienced team and the experience that we brought back um, isn't really there for us. I mean, like I said, you talk, you think about a Colin Smith, a guy that we were really counting on, who's out for the season right now. Um, Ben's just kind of, you know, getting his feet under him. Um, we're counting on him, you know, big time. Uh, Tyron is, like I said, it's probably, probably his, you know, second game of really playing some, you know, some, you know Pretty good basketball. It's still not as efficient as, as you know he would want to be or we need for him to be, but uh, he's trending in the right direction. And we still got to try to get Paul Lewis going. Still got to try to get Evan Taylor going a little bit. I thought it was good for him to get on the post a little bit to see it going go in. Thought that might spur him, but you know th these guys that we you know we, we need to, to to make plays for us. We we brought them in to, to shoot the basketball and to, to stretch the four floors, and and hopefully they they kind of turn the corner with that um, here sooner rather than later. Is, is Ben on a minutes limit coming off the groin? Uh, yeah, it was like he's, he didn't look good to me, right? Like, I mean, I think just from in there, I mean, miss, we played really good defense and he gave up two offensive rebounds. Uh, and uh, just to think from you know, wh wh whether it's fatigue, I wanted to try to kind of keep him to like three minutes um, spurts. So, he, you know, that, that's when you can kind of, Re-injure something once you get fatigued. So I was, you know, conscious of me to try to get him out um, before the 16-minute mark. Uh, have him get a, you know, a little bit of a stretch around that, and, and you know, be consistent with that. I mean, love to have him on the floor, his presence, and what he does for us. You know, obviously he's, he's a shot block, shot blocker for us as well. But um, again, I just I, I didn't see the pop that 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 I thought that we needed from him, especially in this game, with it being a fast-paced game as it is. So. Um, I decided to, um, you know, probably didn't use him as much in the second half as in, um, as I probably would have liked to. With Jason, it feels like he kind of just builds on his own energy throughout the game. You see him getting excited over on the sideline. How much do you like that energy and kind of the swagger he shows? Yeah, I think, I mean, our freshman group, I mean, they're really tight tight-knit group. I mean, they really pull for each other. They support for each other. They bring a lot of energy on the bench. If you watch Malik Presley, he's the same way. I mean, those, those guys, Colson, um, you know, Carter, all of them, I and mean, they're, they're inseparable when they're when they're not in the gym. You know, you walking around campus, you're going to see those guys together. So I just think, um, you know, that's that's how he plays. He's, he's, he's an exciting player. I want him to make sure that he focuses and uses that energy the right way. I mean, like, instead of 
Um, you know, when you make a big shot, you know, try to use that energy to get back. We need you to get back instead of kind of celebrating. But 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 I get it. They're young guys. They want to have fun, and, and I got to find that balance of allowing them to do that, but at the same time encouraging them to be focused and um, and, and and ready to handle the task at hand. You went down by double digits in both the first half and the second half, and yet your team was able to storm back. What did you think of the effort and the heart they showed today? I mean, I think our teams have, have, are always going to show that. I mean, I think these guys, I mean, it's, 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 it's a game of, of shot making, you know, making and missing. And I think even though we got down, we felt like in, during, during that stretch, we were still getting the looks that we wanted to get. They just weren't going in. And, um, and it, sometimes we played pretty good defense, and they still stepped up and made, you know, made some good shots. It's a good offensive team. But uh, we just, again, work, we always talk about working the game. I like, said, you, know, you work the game, work the game. Um, keep grinding it out, and you give yourself an opportunity. You get to it toward the end of the game, and you look up, and you have an opportunity to, to win. And I thought that we did that. You know, maybe a play here, play there, call there. I mean, I thought the the offensive foul on um, you know, the, the blocking charge on um, on Jason was pretty egregious too. I mean, those are big plays when, when not only do you get a foul, but you allow teams to go to to the free throw line. But those are those are things that you have to battle through. But um, it would be. You know, we, we love to try to you know get the benefit of those, the, the doubt sometimes, especially when you you know end up in a three point game. It's hard to quantify, and you have a better seat than us, so that's why I'm asking. How do you feel your team communicates defensively? And is that better in a zone, or do you feel any difference in zone or man? No, I think every every coach probably would tell you they would like to see that um, the team communicate better. I mean, we 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 got a little bit of a quiet team. I mean, other than you know. Uh, especially your bigs, you want your bigs to be really vocal because they're the ones that's calling out, you know, defensive coverages and different things like that. So we, we have to get better at that. I mean, we just don't have a um, really loquacious defender out there that you know that's just that's all over the place. But we, but I think it's something that we we need to get better at. But I thought we we communicated that those teams, those, those zip screens, are something that's really popular right now with teams where they're coming up setting those where they're not really setting them they're kind of zipping out of them and so it's important that you talk and I think that we you know we work on it a lot in practice and and I, and I thought it helped us today I thought we handled their zips pretty good today. Uh, Rivera Torres obviously got going there in the second half it looked like there were some sets ran for him uh, I mean I'm not saying that's anything new but is anything surprising with him I mean I saw the shot in the corner that he hit no, he's a guy that we want to run things for to get shots. I mean, he's, I mean, he's a shot maker. I mean, he, I mean, he's proven that not only in um, um, in practice but in games. Uh, so I think this, you know, he's, he's someone that you know that's going to be on team scouting report. I mean, he's just shooting over forty percent right now. So we're definitely going to try to you know, come out of timeouts and, and try to get get him some opportunities to get his feet set. And look, it's just you know sometimes he just needs to survey a little bit longer. I thought there was a couple times where he took some. Some marginal ones where you know we maybe had Tassos who popped out of the screen that was available. So, but those are things that he'll continue to get better at. He's, he's a young, talented player that's 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 eager and open to learn, and we just got to continue to just um, you know show him those things and film and practice, and and, uh, and and you'll continue to see him get better. Thanks, good. Yeah.